Hey guys, welcome back to Tank Garage. My name is Frank and I'll be the man behind the camera. Pardon my messy hair today. Fourth video of the day that I'm filming for you guys. So we have a full month of upload already scheduled for you guys in one single day. Today, like you guys saw in the title and the thumbnail, this is part two and hopefully we'll be finishing the install of the S60R S60R headlights on my 2006 Volvo XC70. Before the video starts, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any uploads from Tank Garage. Let's get to work. I have no time that I want to waste. If you guys haven't seen part one, link is going to be down in the description below. Super simple. You're going to have one little clip that you need to remove right here, one little clip that you need to remove right here, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and then you're going to go in the wheel arches and you're going to be removing let's see if you guys can see here those little torques right there those are torques i don't remember how much but they are torques i think they're 30s if i'm not mistaken 30 or 35 on each side pop the hood you're gonna have depending on if your car has been well the bumper definitely had been removed on your car at some point if your car's bumper has been removed in the past some clips might be broken um but you should theoretically have these little push pins right here so pop open your hood and uh, check if you have these little push pins right about here I have four of them because two of them were broken so pop pop out and then you're gonna have two bolts on top of the headlight one right here one right here once you pop this out you're gonna have one bolt in the corner there and you should have another bolt on the side right about here for the headlight you know what guys I'm actually gonna grab the new headlight and show you just so you guys can visually see where the bolts are. Just bring this up a little bit. Shouldn't be too long guys. We'll just drag the headlight out and bring it right about here. So this is the passenger side headlight. I'm just going to flip it over onto its top, just like that. So as you guys can see, there is one right here, one right here, one right here. And then on top, you're going to have two. So one right here and one right here. And then you have one at the very bottom, just like here. So one, two, three, four, five, six bolts total to remove everything. It is very, very simple, guys. So we're going to get straight at it. We'll grab the tools, not flashbang you guys put you guys back onto the tripod and start working. It's getting cold, so I wanna do this fast. So the XC70R project comes very, very nicely. So this time I'm actually gonna start by removing the top ones first, just because they are the most accessible one right now. So these on the top are actually eight mils, guys. If you haven't watched the last video, Here. Hopefully the wind doesn't make them blow away because I do not have extra ones. They shouldn't be very tight, totally honest guys. Should be fairly, fairly easy to remove. You shouldn't have to uh, break your head doing this. So now that these ones are out, we're gonna pop the hood clips out right here. I just went inside to grab a long 10 mil guys. So I could just remove these. This is why it's amazing guys, when you work on your own cars, you know how everything is torqued. And you know that you didn't over torque it last time you worked on it. That's what the beauty of uh, working on your car. Still got a bit to remove it. All right. So put these on top of that to make sure that I don't forget that that's where they came from. Guys. 
and now I should just be able to grab the bumper from the side right here. There we go. Pop one side out. There we go. Pop the other side out. And now we need to push these pins in the middle. Where's the flat head? Flat head's on top right here. Don't forget your push pins in the middle right here. Push them down. Pry them out. Pry them out gently. You don't want to. You don't want to be doing like I just did and break one. It's cold outside, eh, guys? So these pins break so easily. I should probably order myself some. They are not expensive and they break all the time. Well, they're technically, guys, you're meant to change them every time. Technically, and I don't know you guys, but I've never heard somebody that follows those instructions. It's extremely rare. Extremely rare. I'm push them back so I know that. So I have three pins left. Nice. I'll definitely have to order some because, well. I don't want to run out, eh? So I could take some from the door panels right now, but it's, it was still solid even with three. You guys saw how even when I went to the last one, it didn't come off. So now the bumper should technically be free, just like that. Get one side out. Oops. I have one screw that I forgot to remove, guys. It was a T20 finally. I just have one right here. There we go. Amazing. Bumpers out. We'll just be careful right here with this connector. We'll gently drop the bumper down. All right, let's get working. Eight mil, eight mil. Some of them are a little harder to get to than others, like this corner one, but once you've got it out, it just pops out like a champ. All right, so number one here is out. I know there is, how much did we say there? There might be less on these headlights actually. I see one here. See, so that top side is out. I think there's one more at the bottom here. Yep, that's the 8 mil. I'll have to find a long head 8 mil. So let's screw that one. I'll go ahead and find that and uh, we'll get to it right after. Okay, so the headlight is now free, guys. So same process as the other side. This one should be... Just a tad bit easier. Press on the connector right here and disconnect. Should just come right off. Just like that. So you just have to disconnect this one, guys. The big red. Can you guys see big red? I'm gonna go grab the S60R headlight and plug it back in.
right, so I plugged the new harness into it. Now we're just gonna sit the light over here. We'll take the big red connector while the light is resting in the socket here. And we will go ahead and plug it in. Now again, before you put everything back guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place it back into where it's supposed to go. Just like that. I'm gonna turn the car on, make sure both headlights work. synchronizing right now yeah and that's an install boys all right so now reverse order guys we're gonna do the bottom left one first here Actually gonna thread this by there perfect now next I think what we're gonna do is this bottom one right here same thing I'm gonna hand thread it first Now I got it. My wrist is sore because these are small. You know what? I'm going to grab the longer head 8 mil just so it's a little easier for me. Thread it in. Come on, car.
I don't understand why. Oh, I think this is supposed to go on the back side of it. Is it possible? Thing right here. Yeah, that would make more sense. So there's like a washer here. I feel like this washer, you have to like... Yeah, that would make a bit more sense to put pressure evenly on both sides. Yeah, there we go. All right, I figured it out, guys. The washer was on the wrong side. I had the washer put on the uh, inside of the bolt when it should have been on the outside. Am I tightening? I'm loosening, great. All right. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Doesn't need to be too tight, guys. Just when it stops turning, just stop. It's that simple. You want to make sure the headlight is, you know, nice and tight, of course. There we go. That's enough. All right, so now I understand why this side didn't turn as well. So you have a little washer like that, guys. That needs to go on the, once the screw is in, you put this on the other side of the screw so it properly puts a pressure onto the plate. So I'm gonna tighten this one just to see if it tightens. Use this one. It should technically because it's sitting on it. just so it doesn't move. And then we'll finish off with these two on top. These are those ones, these are these ones, all right. Just wanted to make sure not to mix the bolts together. The angle looks good, the angle looks good, amazing. All right. Thread these ones. Very carefully. And that. Just finger tight, well finger tight, ratchet tight, I should say. Just to make sure the headlight's leveled right. Just enough, all right, so I'll uh, spare you guys all of the uh, putting the bumper back. I showed you guys in the last video how to do it. So I'll do it by myself and I'll see you guys in a couple of seconds. So everything is now installed, it looks pretty good. The only thing guys that I'm kind of mad at is two things. There is one clip, well it's not a clip, it's the torque screw on the right side of the bumper that I actually um, lost the nut that goes to. And um, so yeah, the bumper holds for now, but you guys can see there is a little gap right here, which there shouldn't be. And uh, there is the S60R headlights. It completely changes the look of the car, honestly. Look at that. Makes it look very, very nice. So that's the first thing was the clip on the corner. The second thing uh, that I'm actually kind of mad at is the person that sold me the headlights did not tell me that the two bulbs inside were different colors. So one I believe is the original like, Xenon headlight and the other one is a weird type of like 
whitish color. So uh, yeah, you guys will see probably uh, during the B-rolls what it looks like, but uh, enjoy these few B-rolls. <laughs> So that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Easy install, that wasn't so easy finally. Um, yeah, things don't usually go right when I play with cars, guys. So I'm getting better, that's what's important at it. And hopefully you guys are getting better as well at the same time as me. So thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any uploads from Tank Garage. See ya, boys.